hello everyone i hope today has started off fantastically and everything is going according to plan and to make your day even better today i'm giving you a nice delicious simple recipe and for that we are baking a cake my sister requested for me to make a sponge cake but i was like you know what let me go a tiny bit the other direction and make a carrot cake not any carrot cake in the world but the best ever carrot cake trust me when i say that it's a super simple recipe i'm prepped as you can see and i'm ready to go if you're yet to subscribe please do if you already have for asana twendele and for everyone watching thank you so much for being here karibuni nyote twendele sasa We're now prepped, set, and ready to go. And as you guys are familiar with, we always start with mix mixing the dry ingredients separate and the wet ingredients separate. I have separated my ingredients into those respective components. And for my dry ingredients, which I'm going to begin with, I have to mention the flavor profiles I, I decided to go with for this recipe were inspired by my three spice butternut pancakes which I made last year in November so if you're yet to try out that recipe friends and family you're wasting time you're living life wrong but you know what I'm going to link it right over here or over here I don't know so go and try it out don't don't sit on a good recipe so for the spices I'm going to use cinnamon which pairs really really Eh, really 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 well for a carrot cake and another warm spice I've really been into of late clove I drink some hot water with some clove first thing in the morning and I really find it nice and warming it awakens my gut and I don't know it's adds a pep to my step and I really love clove nowadays so it's hard to be part of this recipe and as you guys know iliki aka cardamom my favorite warm spice had to be over here and to tie everything together some ginger spice it can be a bit overpowering if you overdo it but if you do it just right it's always perfect 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 for my wet ingredients i have my oil you can use any vegetable oil you have at home i'm using sunflower oil corn oil sour kabisa don't use olive oil just use ilek however you use at home then my eggs four large eggs at room temperature my vanilla extract from Naisanya Foods and my brown sugar which will lend its brown color to the carrot cake itself now that we've gone through everything and of course carrots <laughs> we've gone through everything now and now that you know everything we're going to use and remember the spices I use are available in our local supermarkets so don't don't like oh gopa oh 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 kaluhu oh, they're all in our supermarket so now that you've gone through everything let's begin to my first bowl i'm going to add my all-purpose flour followed by my baking powder baking soda and then my warm spices cinnamon clove iliki and ginger spice i'm going to mix everything together until completely combined I'm going to set that aside, take my other bowl and then add my oil, my brown sugar, my vanilla extract and my eggs. I'm going to whisk everything together until combined and then later on combine the wet and the dry ingredients. Make sure your freshly grated carrots are already ready and they were grated using the smaller section of your grater. This smells so good already and I'm very excited about how this will turn out. One thing I have to really emphasize is as you whisk for this part for wet ingredients, make sure you as you whisk no lumps of brown sugar remain. It has to be nice, smooth and creamy as mine is. I also want to say you can use any kind of sugar but it's best if you use brown sugar for this recipe. You can find brown sugar in, in any well-stocked supermarket at about 50 shillings a pack. And you can use it for many other things, even for your tea. It's just sugar that has molasses, so don't, don't share away from it. It's the best sugar for this recipe. I also bought my vanilla extract from Naisenia Foods. I'm going to link her contacts down below. You can also use vanilla essence, but I really encourage you guys to use the real thing, which is vanilla extract, especially for home cooking. Always go for the best.
now done and we are ready to proceed with the baking stage as you can see my oven is already preheating at 180 degrees celsius and my butter looks nice and colorful dark brown it looks oh my god you guys e itashika kushika one thing okay a couple of things i have to emphasize once your carrots are just mixed in stop mixing do not overweep your butter because you want it to be nice and airy because that is what will give you fluffy cake at the end another thing i have to say is for baking unlike cooking you have to be precise baking is a science if i say two cups of flour make sure you're using the correct measuring cups for your flour not cucumber thermos not cucumber uji not cucumber wine but the correct measuring cups for baking if i say use four eggs at room temperature don't decide to use two eggs straight from your fridge you have to be precise if you want excellent results at the end but i know you guys are very smart and i know you guys always follow my instructions so i know you're going to ace it cindy yes that's done and my pan is already greased I grit the pan itself with some margarine and then I also grit my lining paper with margarine and dusted it with flour because that enables the cake to be nudged off when, once it's done baking very easily. But if you have those baking pans that have a lock and a buckle, that's not necessary. But if you have a baking pan like mine, um, uh, make sure you do this my pan is 9 by 15 inches but you can use any other pan you have at home but because the pans will be different the baking time will also vary if your pan is smaller the baking time may be more if your pan is big or if you decide to divide the butter into three or two batches the time will also be less so make sure you put that into consideration once you start baking but as the cake is baking, just keep checking on it. Poke it with a fork or a skewer. If it comes out clean, you're done. If it comes out still wet, ipe muda kidogo. That said, let's put this in our pan, then proceed with the baking. made the most delicious airy fluffy cloudy cream cheese frosting that will accompany our carrot cake you know what i'm already drooling thinking about all the amazing flavors i'm going to experience it's super easy to make and here's how i made mine to my bowl i'm going to add my icing sugar followed by my butter and then my cream cheese and a teaspoon of milk I'm going to whisk everything together until creamy and combined and once it's set, I'm going to set aside for frosting for my cake. You will only need four ingredients as you have seen, four ingredients that you can readily find in our local supermarkets. You know guys, I, I say that all the time, Hadi Mekwa like one of my mottos. Don't forget, everything I use is available in our local supermarkets. Number one, icing sugar. For this recipe, I used two cups. It may sound like a lot, but it's actually not that much because cream cheese is a bit sour naturally, so you'll need a bit more sugar to counter that. You can add more sugar if you prefer it a bit on the sweeter side, but for me, someone who's not a sweet tooth, two cups was enough. Trust me, it's not as much as it sounds. Second ingredient, which is actually the star of this frosting, is the cream cheese. You'll find cream cheese in the cheese section for any well-stocked supermarket. It costs around, okay, cheese is naturally expensive, so about itability would you kidogo, you sacrifice kidogo so that you get something delicious at the end. One pack costs about 300 shillings for 250 grams. I bought two and I used one and a half, but you know what? I'll add, I'll make sure the exact quantities are on the blog, so make sure you go and check it out. And I have to emphasize, Nimesema cream cheese. 
usiende kununua halumi, usiende kununua mozzarella, usiende kununua parmesan. Like imagine making a frosting with halumi as in as in make sure you use cream cheese. You will find it in any well stock supermarket. Then of course some butter to give it a bit of body and a teaspoon of milk to just make sure everything is nice and fluid as it should be. Whisk everything together then once it forms the nice stiff peaks, you're done and ready to go. Now that my frosting is ready, my cake is ready, we're just going to let it cool down completely because if you add it when it's still hot, the frosting will just melt off. So after my cool to Rudy to a frost and then we are ready to eat. That was super simple. Cindy, I hope you tried this out because it's definitely worth the effort. If we were to have a pageant competition for the prettiest cake in the world, guys, guess which cake would win? Ta-da! This cake would definitely win and I'm so happy with how it turned out. So pretty, so rustic and I know 100% it's going to be super delicious. I'm going to wait a few minutes, wrap this up, then go slice and eat it up. But I know 100% it's not going to disappoint. I hope you try this out. Please, guys, make sure your entire family enjoys this recipe as well because they too deserve to eat all the amazing delicious food that I have on this channel and on my blog as well speaking on the blog speaking of the blog the exact recipe quantities are on there link down below on my description box please try this out take photos tag me on any social media platform i want to see your magic courtesy of my recipes i hope you enjoyed this video for me time to go and indulge and enjoy so thank you so much for watching